Is it acceptable to fire a high school football coach because of the team's wins and losses? A two-year legal battle over that question in Jessup could reach the Iowa Supreme Court. Bruce Wall was the head football coach in Jessup for nine years before the school decided to make a change in 2009. Now rounds of legal decisions could put Wall back on the sidelines. KCRG TV 9's Chris Earle went to Jessup to learn more about a legal case that people who follow high school sports are watching closely. Chris? Yes, very closely, Bruce. School administrators say they removed Wall from the football program because interest had faded, especially with students trying to participate. And the lack of wins was not the major reason, but a symptom. Under the hot sun of May baseball practice, Bruce Wall hopes to lead the Jessup Jayhawk baseball team to another winning season, just like last year. Yet Wall's still trying to get his old coaching job back as head football coach there. Two years ago, the school let him go. Board, just to be clear, uh, terminated Coach Wall um, because of ineffective program leadership and also failure to maintain student interest and participation. Wall coached the football Jayhawks from 2000 to 2008, two winning seasons at the start, but Marting said in his last four years the Jayhawks won two and lost 34. However, the win-loss record is a component of the, the performance of a coach. Now a legal showdown extends far beyond Jessup. A lot of people keeping their eye on it around the state, you know, administrators, school boards, and obviously coaches as well, just kind of seeing where this thing's going to stand. Wall won the first round with an arbiter. Then the Buchanan County District Court ruled the school was right. Last week, the Iowa Court of Appeals overruled the district court, reinstating Wall to the head football coaching job and giving him two years of back pay. But that's on hold as on Monday night, the school board voted 7-0 to appeal Wall's latest legal win. This could wind up in the Iowa Supreme Court leaving a battle between this middle school math teacher and a school district that wants him to stay off the football sidelines. Whether I end up being the football coach in the future or not, I want Jessup football to have success. As for the two years of back pay, that number will not be too lucrative. Marting said athletic coaches get about $4,500 per year per sport. For the legal cost, though, Marting said just within the past half hour, the district has incurred more than $60,000 in legal fees on this. If the state Supreme Court chooses not to take up the case, then Wall would be ready to be coaching the football team once again in the fall. Bruce. We'll stay on top of it. Thanks, Chris.